What up out there, Sire friends? It's the Midi Man coming back at you from Walker's Music with yet another word for the day. We want to give a big shout out to the YouTube family. From Baby Justice to Big Papa JT to all of you. This time I'm going to try to call a few names. If I miss your name, just take it for love. I don't mean to miss your name, but I want to call out each one of you out by name. Brother Justice, Brother K Ray. Twin, Brother JT, Brother PP Drones, Brother Hardencliffe, Brother Elder Michael McCray, Big Papa JT, Cousin Bonnie. Now, if you fit, if I called your name and if I didn't call your name, those are the ones that is actively involved in this circle to a degree. And if I missed anyone, and I'm gonna I'm gonna say it like this here, to all of my heavenly father's children. Now that includes all of them. But I want to say something, people. Let me tell you. Let me. I want everybody to know what Midi Man stand. So you can tell anybody that acts. Midi Man claims no fame. Midi Man claims to know nothing but Jesus Christ and Him crucified. Middle man seeks to try to do what Jesus said do. Period. Nothing else. Only what Jesus said. Not what somebody else said. But only what Jesus said. Now, now people, you're going to have a problem with middle man if you say anything outside of what Jesus said. Then... You don't have to worry about me, man, because I'm only going to listen to what Jesus said. I'm going to listen to him only, and to the best of my human ability, try to do what he said. But see, it's not my ability, but it's the power of the Holy Spirit. Now, I said all that to say this here. In the 37th Psalm, people. It tells us to fret not thyself because of what? Evil doers. Neither be thy enemies of the workers of iniquity. Shall they shall soon be cut off. Now people, David said that I'm old, but I've been young. Never have I ever seen the righteous forsaken or a seed begging bread. People, we can trust God. Let me tell you, we, to every believer, you see, most folk now don't even want you to use the word Christianity. They say that's a bad thing. People calling Paul a devil. Every, I mean, you know what I'm saying. I know I, I admit it, man. I'm setting the record straight this day, this Friday. Only Jesus Christ and Him crucified. We need to love each other. That's what Jesus said. Love each other as He loved us. Jesus said that we should always be caring for others more than ourselves. That's what Jesus said. In the parable of the Good Samaritan, that's what. The Samaritan, the priest, and the Levite. All three of them had other agendas. But it was the Samaritan that took time out from his agenda to see by the man that was in need. People, are we going to do what Jesus said? Or are we just doing things for shining? Are we really? I mean, we need to ask ourselves. Don't try. Don't tell Middle Man. Middle Man ain't got nowhere to put you. But you, tell, you speak to this to yourself. Am I trying to do these things because Jesus said do them and all for his glory or am I trying to get glory? We are servants, people. We are servants. And the main key is that we should be lifting up the name of Jesus trying to live and follow in his footsteps by what? Serving our neighbor. Who is our neighbor? Jesus already told you. Whoever in need. That's what he told the rich young ruler. You see, when we try to get cute, people, we 
We, we, we try to get cute with God. God laughs. We make plans and God laughs at them. Yeah. Fret not thyself because he would do it. In other words, David said also in that same, in that same song, he said, Lean not unto thine own understanding, but trust in God and in all your ways. Acknowledge him. People, we need to remind ourselves these things when we get in these predicaments. And it's, it's easy to forget sometimes. And when we are in the heat of the battle, when especially when it comes to ourselves, it's sometimes hard, it's easy to forget. But we must remind ourselves that God got it. God got it. Put it in his hand. And this and and live by Jesus' word. Jesus' word. Jesus' word, people. That's what he said in his word. Not everyone that said law, law, go enter. But to those that what? Do the will of his father. Those that hear my word and keep his word. He likened to that as a man that built his house upon the rock. And also a man that built his house upon the sand. The, when the wind and the rain came, the storm came and beat upon both of them houses, but the one that was built on the rock. It didn't say a storm was going to come in our lives. He didn't say that. On the contrary, they are going to come. It's not a matter of if, but when. They're coming. But he said, if you built your house on a solid foundation, what is that foundation, people? Whatever God said, whatever the words of Jesus, that's your foundation. We can be assured of that. That's it. We got a whole lot of stuff going on in our world, people. People saying this and they saying that. They discrediting this. They discrediting that. It ain't about this and it ain't about that. I'm not going to get involved in all that, but I'm going to know one thing. I'm going to read my Bible. And whatever Jesus, I take the word verbatim. Just what it says. I don't try to read nothing else into it that it ain't saying. I, I read it. I understand what I understand. And I go from there. If Jesus said it, I can count on it. And if anything that I need to know, Holy Spirit going to let me know. Holy Spirit going to let you know. Stop all the arguing back and forth with Scripture. God knows 